Hey, my name is Austin Williamson, uh, class of 2022, right-handed pitcher. Uh, go to Combine Academy and currently committed to University of Alabama. Next one, we're gonna go here. I want you to start here, preset, come back, put here, yeah, with the six out. So here, preset, come back, here, and then go through. We're gonna go here. Eight, ten. Uh, the age I got into baseball was about six years old. Um, I started playing t-ball for the like the local rec, and um, I really my dad kind of got me into it. Uh, he was a big baseball guy, and uh, he played in high school, played college football, so uh, he kind of got me into sports. And I just fell in love with baseball. So I went down to uh, Tuscaloosa um, last February and uh, I met the coaches and uh, towards the facilities and everything. I really just felt like home to me. Uh, Coach Bo felt like I felt like I was talking to my dad, talking to him and the whole coaching staff was, you know, had like a family vibe and that's what I was looking for and, you know, Alabama is Alabama. So it's kind of an easy decision. What's up guys, I'm Hype and I had to jump into this video real quick to tell you about a giveaway I'm doing on the channel this month. I'm giving away a lightly used axe bat. I used in one video, I probably took 20 hacks with it. There's one little mark on it. Uh, it's a 33 inch, uh, the model is a L118 and uh, these go for like 150 bucks at Dick's Sporting Goods. So the way you can win this bat is every video for the month of June you have to, one, be subscribed to the channel. Two, you have to like every video that comes out in June and the first one in July. So that's every Tuesday and every Friday. Three, you have to share this video with someone. So you have to click the share button and you can share it to social media. You can text it to a friend, whatever you wanna do. And then four, you have to comment down below your favorite thing about the channel. It could be uh, the What's in the Bag series. It can be the Day in the Life series. It can be something about this video that you like. It could be about the giveaways. And you have to do that for every single video that comes out in June and the first one in July. After that, I will select one winner to win this very axe bat. You must live in the United States because shipping outside the United States for a bat is extremely expensive. And my channel does not make that much money to ship out a bat. So good luck and back to the video.
So what's the purpose of sitting down and throwing and being on uh, your knees and throwing? So sitting down is where you really like focus on going like falling through the ball and using all your body and not just your arm. You know, really getting your core involved and everything. And uh, you know, usually with your knees, you're the same concept. Usually get all your body involved and really get your body used to using all of it, not just your arm. Uh, yeah, being committed to a big D1 um, school, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of pressure, but it, you know, also some of the pressures t being took off, you know, trying to be uncommitted and trying to get committed. But, uh, you know, being committed, you got to stay committed, right? So you got to keep performing, keep working harder than everyone else. And uh, yeah, so, you know, nothing's, nothing's, always, nothing's guaranteed. You got to keep it. Uh, the two seam that you showed me, yeah, is another pitch. So I'm like, screw, the, screw the. Well, yeah, you got this. Yeah, change up because if, if it can, if it can literally do like this and drop, yeah, I mean it's doing the same thing as my splitter would do. You know? well, yeah, exactly. That's what you want. You just want, you just want a pitch that's still fast. Yeah, but got the velo, still mid to upper eights, and still has this right. move. If it can be, it can be another pitch, 89 plus. Mm -hmm. I mean that's that's insane. You know, with that movement. There we go. You see how that kind of still moves? When you get to that two seam, you still want to get like this kind of still, just, yeah. Kind of still do like that on it? Yeah, but you want to see how far it bends here. Yeah. So, then you so kind of it. So kind of when you come right here? Yeah. So when you're here, you want to aim there with Right to the, the left it, pole? Yeah. Back. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right that last that last. See last if it kind of just curves back into it? But the last the thing you want to do is you want to throw exactly like a long toss. So yeah. You get a couple steps into it. That way you get a feel. No! How does that look? Uh, my greatest strength that I bring to the game is my mindset. Um, you know, no one's gonna work harder than me, and I keep it like that. So in the weight room, there's not gonna be one person that work, goes harder than me. And uh, you know, and I, my IQ to the game, I feel like I have a really big IQ when it comes to pitching and you know just the baseball aspect. And you know, I, I really think I can, you know, overthink the batters. You know, kind of trick them a little bit. And uh, the weakness I bring in my game, you know, I could be a little bit more athletic, a little bit more explosive. And, uh, you know, just some mechanical side to the, the pitching side is where I could improve.
So my game day superstitions is, you know, I can never wear high socks going into a baseball game, and I can never pitch with high socks. I just have that bad feeling. Uh, you know, my old my glove. I had I've had it for years and years. You know, I call it old faithful. It never never does bad for me. So I never probably never get a new glove. Uh, keep the same one, but uh, mainly the socks. Can't wear high socks. So the time I felt like I need to take baseball seriously was about my freshman year. And uh, a, few kid, a few kids around here, a few, one of my really good friends started being committed. And you know, I really saw why they were getting committed and getting all these offers. And I really sat down and thought about like, why was I not getting the exposure that I, that I thought I deserved? And, you know, and I really thought about it. I, wouldn't work, I wouldn't, was not working hard. You know, I wasn't working hard as I needed to be. And uh, you know, really had to take my game to the next level. So I came to Combine my sophomore year, you know, started working out with the pros that work here and really saw how they take their game and, you know, I just fell in love with, you know, how they make their money and how they take their job so seriously. The advice I have to uncommitted guys trying to get committed is, uh, I mean, there's, there's gotta be a reason, right? So my biggest reason was I wasn't working hard enough. You know, if you work hard enough, the results will come. So, uh, I mean, if you get in the weight room, do everything that you need to do, listen to the correct people that you really need to listen to, you know, and just buy in, you know, you gotta, you gotta be in love with the game. You gotta fall in love with it. So, uh, I mean, if you do all the right things, you know, the right stuff will happen. First thing we did, we did some arm care. You know, got ready for the day of long toss. Uh, threw some plyos, um, did some wrist weights, warmed up, got my body right. Uh, we went down to the field, did a full long toss regiment. Uh, worked my pitching coach with some uh, some pitches that I need to work on. It's really good to work with your pitches during long toss, get you a feel. Um, came back, did my recovery. Did you know? Got a lot of band work that I do. And uh, after that, we did a lift. Had a big leg workout today. Um, you know, then we did some videos and that's my day in the life. Thank you for watching.